Here's the truth that sets me free Here's a light into my path Now in Amos, in chapter 8, I want to read verses 11 and 12. Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine for bread or a thirst for water, but rather for hearing the words of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and from the north and even to the east. They will go to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. Now remember, this is a famine for hearing the word. Yes. Okay. There'll be plenty of word there. Well, know. it's not about the Lord stopping his no. word from going forth, okay? Although there will come a time when there is silence, silence in, in heaven, heaven, all right? That's right. But it's, it's rather about the world no longer listening, mm -hmm. okay? You know, I've, I've referred to a book that I have in progress for a long time that I've actually done some radio programs on called The Schemes of the Devil and the Triumph of Christ Jesus. And I talk about the three, what I see as the three major wild schemes that the devil uses to attack the people of God. Mm -hmm. And it's about division. He wants to divide us. If he can divide us from one another, he'll divide us from the Lord. It's about a distraction, about getting our eyes off of Jesus Christ. That's a biggie. And uh, probably the single biggest is he wants to disarm us. Yes. And the only weapon that we haven't given is the word of God, the sword of the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. You have to remember that the fall of man started when the serpent called God's word into question. Yes. That was the beginning of everything, right? Mm -hmm. In Genesis 3, 1, it says, Now the serpent was more crafty, more subtle, mm -hmm. than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Indeed, as God said, you shall not eat from any tree of the garden. It was then that that old devil said to a human for the first time, but not the last mm -hmm. by any means, that God's word is not true. Yes. Right? Because when she... It into question. He calls it, he calls the veracity of the word of God into question. Mm -hmm. And then when she responds, you know, God, you know, God, he says, well, surely you will not die. So what he is saying from the very, very beginning is God's word is a lie. That's right. That's right. God's word is not true. Now, do you think that he has stopped doing that? No. Not by any means. Okay. The attack on the people of God is still an attack on the word of God, right? Yes. He is saying that it's, it's not true. It doesn't mean what it says. It's not for this time. It's not relevant. It's, it's usurped by tradition. Whatever he can say, he's trying to cancel out the word of God in our lives, all right? One of the problems is people stop hearing the word simply because they don't like it. And that's a good enough reason in this age of me, right. of this me generation, right? Doesn't tickle their ear. Which is why I said, if you don't like the message that I that I brought last week, is it because it's not true? Is it because it's not the word of God? Is it, or is it just because it's too hard? It's too hard, and you don't like what it's saying. Mm. Satan's goal is to attack our righteousness. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Our right? relationship with the Lord. Because that's where our righteousness is, is our relationship with the Lord. And if he can separate us from God, he's killed us. He comes to kill. And well, sep yeah. separation from God is death. Well, think about this, what the word says about the word, right? Mm -hmm. In Psalm 119, verse 9, it says, How can a young man keep his way pure by keeping it according to your word. Psalm 119, right? And then Timothy wrote, Paul wrote, Paul wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, 316. All scripture is God-breathed and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. Well, if you're apart from the word, you're not going to get trained in righteousness. Even if you have received that free gift of God, eternal life, which is accompanied because of the right relationship with the Father, 
If you're not trained in it, you'll not walk in it. And if you don't walk in it, you're going to walk away from it.